well, bias is everywhere, right? Like that is just baked into our perceptions. Uh, we as humans are very biased creatures in general. And so the first thing we can do, anyone can do is just be aware that bias exists, right? And then begin to educate oneself about the difference between unconscious and conscious bias, right? And there are studies out there that will show that the awareness of unconscious bias in health systems actually increases bias for some people because they blame unconscious bias as something that is inevitable, right? Something that is just going to happen. So it also matters what we do with the information, what we do with that education, right? And that really means fostering, I think, empathy, right? Not just learning the information, but turning on the emotional part of our brains and being able to really understand what the lived experience might be uh, for someone else, uh, walking in their shoes to some extent. And that can often, I mean, they're coming from the world of psychiatry. There are trainings that we can do. There's hearing voices training, for example, that's a national training where you can actually experience what it's like to hear voices and try to go throughout the world, right? Uh, there are other trainings that can help dampen senses in certain ways, right? Uh, there are uh, ways in which we can really meaningfully foster empathy. There's an organization called the Playground of Empathy that's actually doing this in medical settings across the country too. So there are lots of ways which we can actually foster empathy for folks who are underserved. We can also educate ourselves too. And then, you know, honestly, it also requires us to be able to to act. And, and that means being able to, to have conversations about, you know, wide ranging topics on what folks may need and being able to be in uncomfortable spaces, right? Where you might not really like the answers or you might not really uh, be able to do all that much. I think there's just providers in general, we are really taught to, to treat and we want to help and we want to do what we can. And that's going to start from, I think, hearing stories, recognizing uh, the emotions that come up there and being able to uh, be compassionate and understand what the limits of that action might be uh, and you know, what you can change and what you can't change.